putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, well, seven, where seven. Is, fam? It's official. It's official. J and K Dobbins. Okay, bro. I'm good. Bro, you, you okay? I'm good, bro. You geeking, bro. I'm good. Bro, bro. But I get home. I'm good, bro. Bro. Are you crying, bro? Oh, no, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Oh, man. It's like. Shock. His belief. Just lost the words, really, yo. Just like, man, what the, what the heck, you know? Like, what kind of luck? It's just like, just really, just bad luck, you know? Like even like yesterday's game when they when they sack Lamar. He got sacked twice, but on one of them, you can see his like his knee kind of bend, and I'm like, whoa, what the heck? And I think Harb seen that as well, cause he kept him in like one more play, but that play, the next play was like a handoff or something like that, and they took him out. They was like, uh, -uh. that's just right. Dang. You, you know he was you know he was about to do some work. You know JK was about to do some work. And I see I see a lot of people just acting real ignorant about this, but a lot of these people are just they they it's like they uh what's that fantasy players, football fantasy players. It's like who cares about the fantasy? You know what I'm saying? Like, who cares about the uh, the fantasy players? It's like, what? A lot of them is just really upset. I never should have picked you and did it. I'm like, really? You think somebody really actually cares about your little funky fantasy football team? And I know JK is crushed. Lamar sent out a tweet like, what the, what the heck, pretty much. And it's just like, dang. And I know he was going to wreck the league. I knew he was going to wreck the league, man. But I know this is just minor setback, but I already know he go next year, he gonna mm, he gonna come back and do some tremendous damage. This was gonna be his first official year as a starter. And I know he's a grinder, he's not gonna slow down. Man. Just like, dang. You know, last preseason game, this happens. I know I've seen some people too. Harbs, why you play all this stuff? You have to understand these type of injuries, just injuries, period, can happen anytime. A lot of these injuries, usually too, they happen at practice as well. And what people gonna say, oh, why did you have them practicing? Really? Like, it happens in sports. In all sports. It's happened a lot. I just read something about what T.Y. Hilton having back spasms and all that type of stuff. Look at Carson Wentz. That was in practice when he got hurt. I know they're saying he's going to make a comeback, but, you know. It's just... And you know Eric DaCosta, he, he has the plan. I seen a report as well. It was saying he was walking. Um, He never did this. He was walking. When they were going to halftime, he was on the field walking with John Harbaugh. So I think he already knew it was something very serious. 
he got the word it was something something very serious from the medical staff it's just like man dang it then it brings up the question we know he's going to come back but who's going to replace him my opinion Gus is going to be automatically he's he's moved up to number one running back because well he was like 1B you can say and JK was 1A but I would say baby Ricky Williams, Tyson Williams. I like what I saw in him. And also what I saw is during yesterday's game with Washington, he did a few plays that we did not see him anymore. That to me let me know he's made the team. He's there. And I wonder if Eric DeCosta told Harbaugh like, hey, JK looking bad. Tyson Williams. You know what I'm saying? Keep take him out. Let these uh, let the other dude carry. Let him let him get his stuff in. Cause he might make the practice squad. Cause he shows some promise. You can still tell it trying to get it in, but he shows some promise. Then there's reports of Ty Gurley. Ty Gurley sent out a tweet. It was like, "Dang, J.K. and all that prayers up, stuff like that." He's still available. And you know Ty Girl is cool with um Houston, Marcus Peters. He could be just coming back home. You know. I wouldn't mind him as a number two. Maybe number yeah, maybe number two. Cause Tyson Williams. Still got Justice Hill. I haven't seen nothing but nothing but Justice Hill. That makes me uh, I if I if I miss something or is he injured or something, put that in the comments. But I don't know what what happened to him. But this news is just like dang, and the start is like right around the corner. But. It's, it, I'm gonna be very interested to see how this week plans out, how this week goes. They have to hit the 53 man roster as well. I believe they said by Tuesday, some certain time around Tuesday, they have to hit that time as well. They have to get that 53. Now, if I see Ty Gurley come back in, we already know. But like I said, I'm cool with Baby Ricky Williams as well. So. Baby Rick Williams, he he was doing his thing. He he he, he was he was tanned it up. I don't know where they get him from, but they can get some running backs, man. But like like cornerbacks. But man, it's just like crazy news. I seen reports. They were saying you know he's getting an MRI, things such as that. And I held back. I was like, I ain't, I ain't saying anything. I'm not doing no video. I'm not, uh-uh. I want 100% nothing else. Then the news came out. Just like, man. Dang. Yeah, like, I was just so hyped just to Cause they say he been working his catching and all this. It's just, ooh, it was gonna be nice too, man. Now he just gotta wait a whole nother year, man. So y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. I already know some people who's just sad about it. If you, if you coming in about your fantasy, I could care less. I'm just gonna be real. I could care less about fantasy football. I used to play back in the day, but when it comes down to my Ravens and my Ravens winning, and I had a lot of Raven players on my fantasy, I could care less as long as the, the actual Ravens get that W and win. But, man, let's just see where the Costa pulled out his hat. Will he sign Todd Gurley? 
Will they just be okay with baby Ricky Williams? Or will they sign Ty Gurley and be okay with baby Ricky Williams as the third running back? Because, you know, Ty Gurley, you know, he might have to sit out a little bit. Might be banged up or something. But y'all just tell me what y'all think, man. Dang.